Well, what sounds like a common tenant landlord dispute in Ottawa has erupted into a diplomatic row. The owner of a Glebe duplex trying to get unpaid rent from what he says is a broken lease. But there is a catch. The tenant works at the U.S. Embassy and is claiming diplomatic immunity. CTV's Claudia Cotillo has this story tonight. Claudia. Well, the landlord in this case says he has tried in vain to receive nearly $8,600 in rent he says is owed to him by a former tenant. It's a complicated case, though. That's because the tenant in question works for the U.S. Embassy in Ottawa, so the regular rules may not apply. Ottawa landlord Rolf Bauman never imagined he'd be taking on the American Embassy. Angry, frustrated. Bauman is trying to recoup over $8,000 in what he says is back rent from his former tenant, Betsy Zaroudis, an American diplomat who works here. I expected um, that they would do the right thing, that they would take accountability for an employer's employee's actions, especially since she was under contract. Zaroudis had already been living here nearly a year when tenants in another unit of the home complained she was too noisy. That was early last year. There was some repeated concerns. Uh, I addressed it with the embassy. We agreed that uh, we would cancel the lease and she would move on. A landlord would not typically settle lease issues with a tenant's employer. But in this case, Bauman dealt with the U.S. Embassy because of Zaroudis' employment as a U.S. diplomat. Zaroudis was given until May to leave. I went to the, uh, to the building to um, what, what I thought was going to receive um, vacancy or vacant o uh, occupancy and she was still in the building. So a new date for Zaroudis to leave was agreed upon with the embassy. But Bauman says his tenant up and left before that, leaving him short on rent. After numerous phone calls and emails and meetings, uh, I was told that this was a civil matter and that the embassy would not be involved. Bowen went to the landlord and tenant board. They ruled in his favor. But in a letter, Zaroudis' lawyer said, Ms. Zaroudis is an agent of a foreign state and as such enjoys immunity from civil matters throughout Canada. It's unfortunate that I've had to go through this process and find out that I may not have a recourse. CTV reached out to Ms. Zaroudis for an interview but has not heard back. Bowman says this isn't over. He's taking the matter to court. In a letter, Zaratis' lawyer says she disputes the findings and decision from the landlord-tenant tribunal. A spokesperson for the U.S. Embassy and Zaratis' lawyer have said they are not able to comment on this case. Bauman says he wants to raise awareness not just about this matter, but about foreign diplomats who may be breaking local laws. A court date on this case is set for early next month. Graham. A strange one. CTV's Claudia Cotillo reporting live. Thanks, Claudia.